What's happening? How about that backlight, huh? We're going to do things a little different today. Today's going to be story time. Um, I, I, I'm pulling from a pretty decent selection of stories that were actually printed on newspapers. So, I'm going to put out some uh, royalty-free music. I find that uh, 15 hours of deep separation anxiety for dogs is perfect. There's birds and everything. Let's go over to the reading corner, shall we? Oh, this is going to be good. All right, this comes from the February 3rd Sunday edition of the town of Lancaster's, uh, what would you call it? Um, their Sunday uh, local paper. Hang on, got to do a little manscaping here, a little grooming. What the fuck is that? For those who have attended, oh, Village changes up 4th of July lineup. Number one singer's band, not included. For those who have attended the Village of Lancaster's Independence Day celebration for the last few years, you may become accustomed to seeing Buffalo's own popular band, Number One Singer's Band, playing on the 4th. But this year, Number One Singer's Band will not be part of the celebration lineup. Lead vocal and guitar player, Number One Singer, who started Number One Singer's Band, which I think is bullshit. I've heard different. I've heard it was somebody else's band, and he just kind of fucking stuck with the name. Somebody can correct me on that. Back to the story. Uh, <coughs> uh, where I leave off. This is primo stuff here. This is content, people. This is important shit. Uh, 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 okay. I think we've done very well, and I'm sure you will agree with that. Number one singer stated to the board, quote, We're part of the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame, and we've done opening acts for Frankie Valley, Poison, and the Wiggles. Village of Lancaster's special events director, Jeannie Smith, said the band was offered a contract for July 5th <laughs> because that was what the village had available and they were unable to perform. Number one singer unable to perform? <laughs> Well, his wife did leave him. We also offered the Taste of Lancaster and the beginning of the 4th of July in the afternoon. And they are not able to do that, said Smith. So, unfortunately, we can't accommodate number one singer's band. We wanted them on specific dates that they are, are not available. Smith said they can entertain a contract for 2014. Uh, number one singer did verify the band was not available on Friday, July 5th. Quote, this isn't about number one singer's band because I'm able to get two shows for about 50% more money in Clarence and Cheektowaga, remarked number one singer. So you're telling me we're the same show on a holiday. He's charging other towns more money? Pay attention, Cheektowaga. Uh, it is basically about what's most cost effective and what the best thing is for the residents of Lancaster and the taxpayers, said number one singer. <laughs> uh, if it made good business sense to book another band, if the band was less expensive than us, I wouldn't be here today. The band that was hired for the 4th of July celebration is breakaway and they will be paid $850 I can verify that because I was there uh, it, actually it says Valentine I guess I can say that because it's it says Valentine said he put a bid in for $140 per person with a six person band that's $840 people do the math $850 minus $850 40 10 fucking dollars and he's in front of the town board village trustee Ed and Markey told number one singer that the night the board went over this the board knew the band was not available for the fifth and he objected he objected to it and asked the board to reconsider I'm guessing uh, number one singer took trustee Ed Markey to a few Sabres games Ah, uh, Smith said they did not know when they were booked. 
that the village has always paid breakaway 700 for other events and it has increased it to 850 for the fourth quote it's a premium day it's a holiday and that's why they requested more money it says valentine again valentine still questioned as to why the band did such a great job on the 4th of July would the village try to push them to another date. Another trustee coming. Village trustee William C. Schroeder said the village has the right to choose any venue they wish, which is true, they do. Quote, you've played the 4th of July for a number of years and they... <coughs> And there are probably just as many people who want to see your band, and you do have an excellent band, as there are other people who want to see something different. You were offered other opportunities that you could not accommodate, and the reason why you want and the reason why they wanted you on the fifth is because they already booked another band. I personally agree with Mrs. Smith. She made this is so hard to fucking read. See, it's common. It's, everybody find their center while I find my place on this. This is what I'm trying to read. What a lovely uh, sonata. I don't know. There's a weird looking, there's a dog staring at me. Right? Wait. Oh, wait. There's a dog right there. He's staring at me. Stop looking at me, swan. Now, let's get back to, let's finish this up here. <coughs> All right. Uh, you were offered other opportunities that you did not accommodate, and the reason why they wanted you on the fifth is because they knew you were popular and you could compensate, perhaps to a lesser evening attendance-wise. So you you were the draw on the fifth. I personally agree with Mrs. Smith. She made a decision to change bands, and here we are arguing over this at a town board meeting. <laughs> village cl village clerk and treasurer Michael Stegmeyer. I think that's the fifth town. Uh, rep that's in this article uh, said that there were some emails that came through his office indicating that some residents would have preferred to see a different band you mean to tell me people were getting sick of seeing number one singers band every fucking 4th of July at every beer tent they go to all summer I stopped going to beer tents not because I used to play in them but because I'm tired of fucking entertainment it's the same band with the same songs and just ha! quote they wanted to change a venue and I don't think there is, a, is anything wrong with that commented Schroeder I would think from a business point of view he was getting a compliment because we wanted him to come in and wanted him on a night that wasn't wanted him to come in on a night he didn't think would bring in as many people. We knew he would bring the people to help us out with that. Smith said they wanted to change the entertainment around this. Around this is why this year's... Who wrote this? A fucking third grader? Oh, I see your name. I'm not I'm not saying it. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, there it is. By woman who wrote article about number one singer and number one singer's band. That clears it up. Uh, where are we? In addition, number one singer presented the board with a petition with about 300 signatures, not all from Lancaster, agreeing that number one singer's band should be part of the village's entertainment on the 4th. Smith said those, said those who signed the petition were not aware of what they were signing, and when it comes down to it, number one singer is upset because three members of number one singer's band quit number one singer's band and created Breakaway! We, uh, we didn't quit. We technically got fired. Well, you know, it's like that Vince Neil thing. Did you get fired? Did you quit? There's plenty of people in that place that watched us get fired. My number one singer's wife, no less. All right. Uh, we're in the home stretch here. Village of Lancaster Mayor Paul M. Maute Mout Moot Matt. Village of Lancaster Mayor Paul said the board understands his concerns and when it comes down to it, he is offered other time slots. Quote, I'm not going to bicker and bicker about a band, Rick said in Village Mayor. The issue was eventually brought to a close, brought to a close to move on to scheduled public hearing. The next village meeting will blah, 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 blah. 
$10 less. That's some savings. Oh, you know what? It's time to kill the the do- uh, music for dogs. All right, tune in maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I don't know. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing these sober than drunk. But then again, I get drunk, and then, and then the video goes live, and people start losing their fucking minds. I will say this. Uh, I woke, I turned my phone off last night. I was tired of the, uh, oh, the bickering. You know, like, say, for example, I don't know, you're used to singing this, uh, the, sim, the same band every uh, year on the 4th, and then the town hires a different band, and then you lose your shit, and you start a petition, and you come in for $10 less. Uh, turned my phone off, just didn't want to deal with it anymore. It's like, come on. It, first of all, none of this even really pertains to you, so whatever. Oh, little Java. But at the same time, I woke up today, turned my phone on, and every after every episode, more and more messages are popping up uh, from former members, uh, former fans, uh I'm waiting for Frankie Valley to chime in because I think he uh, number one singer open for him, and the Wiggles and Sesame Street on Ice. What the fuck? This is getting better every day. Stay tuned for the next one. Cause what is the next one? We went over how Breakaway. We did the fourth. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna say one word, and you can take this for what it is. Underage. See you tomorrow.